We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. It's Cubs Baseball on the Show next. Jackson Rutledge will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we'll get a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. So digging in now, Eddie James watches fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. This guy's got a realistic shot to win the triple crown, and he's hit several home runs in his last 10 games. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. Digging in now, Brennan Davis, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Ready on 0-2. And the runner's breaking for third. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Ready for another chance? Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this evening. Belted high in the air out to left. Back on it is the left fielder. Unbelievable! A home run! I don't believe what I just saw! I don't believe what I just saw. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, so he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And with it, the Cubs have battled back to tie things at two. Well, Dero, you know, they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the basket. Run scored in ribbies. Run scored in ribbies. Stepping into the box, Eddie James. And he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month Award. The last at that, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Cubs are down in order. They trail 5-2. Ready for another shot now. Stephen Horton already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in, Eddie James. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Here comes the first pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Right and he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Goodbye, home run. So he will touch them all on the Grand Slam, his second home run of the game, as they've cut this deficit down to four. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie James. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. 
Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time to record the final out. And the Cardinals have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. 10-6, to six, the final score in this game. The St. Louis Cardinals get the win on the heels of four home runs. Michael Hall earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Jackson Rutledge couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Chad Bloom gets a four-out save his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, 10 runs, 12 hits, no errors. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League <laughs> Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. Cubs baseball starts right now. Jackson Goddard gets the starting nod for the Cubs in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one, and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. Striding in, Eddie James. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Eddie James. Now here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Meisner will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Next to bat for St. Louis, Francisco Alvarez. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. So with one away in the inning, we'll give you a look at the current standings entering play. As you can see that these guys have a pretty good stranglehold on the division to this point. So striding forward now, Eddie James. Oh for one here in the early going. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fouled away. One out and a runner on second base. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And they'll get down out there for extra bases. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Riley Green. He's set. Here's the 3-0. Pitch taken for ball four. The throw. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Standing in, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized Let's on go, it beat last it out. Come on, come on, come on. And there's oh. one away. Ready now, Eddie James is coming off a month in which he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. A 
A solo shot here to straightaway right field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they've widened this lead to eight now. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty B. How about this, D-Row? If you come to watch offense... Stepping in for the Cardinals, Bobby Witt Jr. No hits to this point. Bobby Witt Jr. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. One there on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Digging in, Eddie James. He's two for four in the ball game. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Hit hard on the ground the back, towards second, up, and that's up. through into center field. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. Now a 9-2 ball game. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game. He extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there. Wow, and they end the inning with the caught stealing. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven-run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? A 9-2 to finish at the end of this contest. Chicago sent five balls over the wall to come out on top in this one. Jackson Goddard earns his team-leading 11th win. Jim Pineda worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line for tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Nine runs, 14 hits. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. It's Cubs baseball next on the show. Cesar Cazada starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. The first base baby. At the plate, Eddie James, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingsley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. The 1 0 home drilled right back up the middle and a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Stand right here on the back, on the back. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Coming to the plate now, Brennan Davis. And he could give his guys an early lead and come through here. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in. Runners are at first and third, one away. And again, a throw, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely.
the 2-2. Two -two. And there he goes towards second. Bat splinters as this is on the ground to first base. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Go get it out of the ocean. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. That is good. Coming to the plate now, Gabriel Arias. And a great chance here for the Cubbies to add on in just the first inning. Got him swinging to throw. It's there. He's out trying to take third. In a... Stepping up to the plate, Eddie James. And he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month award. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Meisner is underneath this one. And he will put it away to retire the side. Score four. Digging in once again, Eddie James. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matt. He almost went deep his last day. B certainly just went. Oh, way to get dirty. What an outstanding play to end the inning. One for the highlight reel as they get the force play to get him out of trouble. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. <coughs> side right here and this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at hitting over 350 left hand hitting against right-handed pitcher and he turns on one sending it high and deep to right and that's going to be off the ivy covered stand up, wall right here, stand up pick it up and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double the baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Now the Cubs' four-hole hitter, Brennan Davis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now that Now to the plate, Gabriel Arias. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Skied into straightaway right. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Cubs strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. In now, Francisco Alvarez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Francisco Alvarez. And before the 3 2, a move to first. But the runners back easily. Hey, one down, one down. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. <coughs> Set. Here's the three and two. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in to second for one. On to first. It's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Now at the plate, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Scooped up. Dig, 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 dig. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So Stepping into the box, Anderson Tejeda. He's working on a one for three thus far. Tejeda. On the ground is short. Could be two. To second for one. 
On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. 5-0 the final score today. Chicago win their 40th game in front of the home crowd this year. Cesar Cazada gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year as he finishes seven innings, allowing only one hit. Jimmy Stearns only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here's the final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious...